Hello everyone, we are the student of class 10 from Rashtra Shakti Vidyalaya and we have decided to take Ek Bhar Sresh Bhar project on pollution of river Sikkim Tista and will it compare with the Yamuna river of Delhi. This is the topic of class 10 science of chapter 16 and we have tried our level best to integrate the present topic of science with our partner state Sikkim and this whole video was research based. Yamuna River. The Yamuna River rises on the slopes of the Bandar Punch massive in the Great Himalayas near Yamunotri in the western Uttarakhand. It flows in a southern direction simply through the Himalayan foothills and exiting Uttarakhand onto the Indogenetic Plan along the border between the Uttar Pradesh and Haryana state to the west. The eastern and the western Yamuna canals are fed from river at that point. Roots of Yamuna River The Yamuna River then passes through Delhi where it feeds the Agra Canal. South of Delhi and now wholly within Uttar Pradesh, it turns southern eastward near Mathura and passes Agra, Firozabad and Itawa. Below Itawa, it receives a number of southern tributaries, the largest of which are the Chambal, the Sindh, the Bitwa and the Kane. Near Allahabad, after a course of about 855 miles, the Yamuna joins the Ganga River. Geography of Yamuna The Yamuna River is the biggest tributary of the Ganga River. It is also considered as a scared river in India. The Yamuna River originates from the Mutri Glacier near Bandar Punj Peaks. In the Missouri, range of the lower Himalayas at an elevation of about 6387 meters above the mean sea level in district Uttarkashi. The tributaries of Yamuna account for 70.9% of the catchment area. The balance of 29.1% area directly drains into the Yamuna river or is occupied by smaller streams. Further, the catchment area of Yamuna amount to 42% of the area of Ganga Basin and 10.7% of the land area of India. In the early 20th century, the Yamuna waters were described as a clear blue. However, due to highly density of population and rapid Industrialization today, the Yamuna is one of the most polluted rivers in the world, especially around the New Delhi. The capital of India, only 2% of the river length flows through Delhi between Wazirabad and Okla, yet the city contributes about 76% of the total population load in the river. Yamuna, which originates from Yamunotri glaciers, crosses seven states before joining Ganga. At Allahabad, provides water to 57 million of inhabitants for their daily uses. It receives varieties of pollutants and waste from household, industry, agriculture, runoff making it polluted. This was the only reason which makes Yamuna so polluted. Please try not to pollute Yamuna. Thank you. Let's go to Sikkim for T Star River. Tista River. The Tista River originates from the Pahuri Glacier above 7,068 meter and flows southward through gorges and the rapids in the Sikkim Himalaya. It is fed by rivulets arising in the Thangu, Yamthang, and Donka mountain ranges. The river then flows past the town of Rangpo, where the Rangpo River joins and where it forms the border between Sikkim and West Bengal up to Tista Bajar. Just before the Tista Bridge, where from Kalimpong and Darjeeling join the rivers, 
made by its main tributary the ranjit river trophy of tista river tista river is a 315 km long river that that rises in the eastern himalayas flows through the indian state of sikkim and west bengal through the bangladesh and enters the bay of bengal it drains an area of 12370 km square tista river has carved out ravines and gorges in sikkim meandering through the hills with the hill station of paling pong lying just off the river variated vegetation can be seen along this route at lower elevation tropical deciduous trees and the shrubs cover the surrounding hills alpine vegetation is seen at the upper altitudes during the monsoon tista river distends its bank both in size and turbulence landslides in this region often dam up parts of the river in this season tista river is 315 km long river that rises in eastern himalayas flows through the indian states of sikkim and west bengal through the bangladesh and enters the bay of bengal the water is so clean because it arises from mountains and the most important thing that the people who live around this river is aware about the water pollution they know the consequences of water pollution and the government are also aware about the water pollution which destroy the cleans of and purity of tista river and government of india always release some act under environment protection act for polluting river so is guilty and try to pollute the river they have to fine and imprisons up for 5 years really thank our school for giving us a platform and we really thank our director ma'am and lecturers ma'am for their wise guidance and we really thank our science teacher dipali ma'am for her timely help and we also 